Welcome, everyone. Tonight I will be starting on a little game called The Curse of Monkey Island. This is um, the third Monkey Island game. I've already streamed the first two Monkey Islands, but um, I took quite a long break from these as I am working through a lot of different adventure games, somewhat chronologically from when they came out. And there was quite a gap between uh, Monkey Island 2 and Monkey Island 3. This game came out in, I believe, 1996. That sounds right. 1996. And the previous Monkey Island game came out in 1992, I want to say. Um, so there was a very small gap between the first and second Monkey Island games. And then um, a good, you know, four or five years between the second and third ones. Which I guess is, is not um, all that long, but... A lot has changed in uh, adventure game media since the second Monkey Island game. And uh, if you've been watching my series, you've seen me explore a little bit of that. But anyways, um, let's get started. And I am, of course, going to choose the uh, version of this game with more puzzles, as I am all about the puzzles. Here we go. Ah, oh, good. The classic uh, LucasArts THX logo, but in the style of monkeys. And of course, we're. Uh, Getting some introduced to some pretty nice looking, uh, pretty nice looking animations, animated sequence here. Deep in the Caribbean, Monkey Island. Log, Guybrush Threepwood. Lost at sea for days now. I have no crew or navigational instruments. No provisions except a half eaten corn dog, and unless I find water soon, I'm surely done for. Only the hope of finding my love, Elaine, keeps me going. Well, my quest for the fabulous treasure called Big Whoop has left me in this sorry state. I thought it would bring me fame and glory. Instead, it delivered me into the clutches of my enemy, the zombie pirate LeChuck. I had thwarted his evil plot to marry Elaine, and he was after revenge. Uh, really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small drink of fresh water, I might have the strength to sail on. Oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean for miles and miles. <laughs> if I could reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. Something to fight off the scurvy and help me get my strength back. <laughs> mm, maybe some bananas. Oh, why do I torture myself like this? I might as well wish for some chicken and a big mug of grog for all the good it'll do me. <laughs> good. Oh, my sweet Elaine. Am I cursed to starve here on this ocean without seeing your face just one more time? Am I... What wizard says? Ooh, a fancy animation. Yes, this is a very fancy animated LucasArts adventure game here.
I want to say that this is the first uh, Monkey Island game that Ron Gilbert was not involved in producing. In fact, I'm certain of that. David, uh, Ron Gilbert was not involved in this one. I don't think Tim Schafer was either. What wizard says this is non-canonical Monkey Island? I don't know about that. <laughs> Fire! As you just saw, the lead designers on this were Larry Ahern and Jonathan Ackley. Washing my hair tonight. Blast be your hair, woman! Can't you see that this salty old sea corpse pines for your every gentle caress? You know, I don't think my father would approve of me dating the undead. And you're probably too nice a zombie part for me anyway. Let's just be friends instead. <sighs> Let's face it, Lechuk. You're an evil, foul-smelling, vile, codependent villain, and that's just not what I'm looking for in a romantic relationship right now. Darn you riddles, you saucy female. What do you mean? You're a bloodthirsty monster who's already kidnapped me once, tortured my friends, and taken from me the only man I ever loved, Guybrush Threepwood. Ah, uh, how romantic. What wizard Come calls on. this Saturday morning Monkey Island? Yeah, it does kind of have a Saturday morning Sorry, cartoon Lord. vibe to it, doesn't it? It kind of reminds me... Uh, like, it's, it does seem like during this era, there was a lot of um, movement towards making Guybrush? adventure games kind of like animated movies. By my gangrenous gut. I don't know how you With the seventh uh, King's Quest hell. game, but we you saw that. Toon struck, obviously. <laughs> saw some of that in uh, Broken Sword as well. Ooh, the lass has spirit -y. Throw him in the hole, and I'll finish him after the battle. Turn loose the long boats! And prepare the flaming voodoo cannonball. Part 1. The Demise of the Zombie Pirate LeChuck. Oh good, I'm glad we'll be getting his demise over with in the first part here. To get out of here and help Elaine. If I could only get through this one door, well, then I could easily overpower the armed guards above, slip over the side, and make for the shore. Quit your mumbling, captive! Blast ye scurvy dogs! All right, who is this? This'll make you uh, rue the day. So we have our uh, classic. Um, Full throttle style interface here. You drink bilge water and your mother I don't think I've ever seen a cuter pirate. <laughs> Stand back. Who are you? 
I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Who are you? I'm the evil pirate Bloodnose, the wickedest fiend ever to sail under the banner of King Death. I'd as soon chew your nose off as look at you. <laughs> you sound pretty tough. I'm so tough. In junior high, I stuffed Davy Jones in his locker. How tough are you again? I'm so tough, I could survive being flogged with a cat and nine tails for half an hour. Or three cats of five tails for 18 minutes. <laughs> cats of five tails. How tough are you again? I'm so tough, I... Uh, um, I drink milk straight from the carton. Ooh. <laughs> Well, I'm pretty tough myself. You? Don't make me laugh. You couldn't even grow a decent beard. Hey, how did you know about my attempted beard? Uh, pirate intuition. Bit of a uh, Monkey Island 2 gag there. I am so tough. You are not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Or so. Are not. Are so. Are not. <laughs> Are you wearing a fake beard? Blood knows the pirate would not have a fake beard. Yes, it is. It's been glued to your ear hair. Actually, it's a highly sophisticated beard weave <laughs> made from the chest and back hair of real <laughs> Gross. <pirates. laughs> I'm hoping it'll take root if I don't wash it for a while. Hey, wait a minute. You're not a pirate. Wally! Don't you recognize me? Oh, hey, it's me? Wally the it's cartographer from oh, Monkey Island 2. Hello, Mr. Wood. The last time I saw you, we were prisoners in LeChuck's dungeon. Why would you sign on with a ship of the living dead? Well, Mr. Brush, at first I had some misgivings about it. But thanks to LeChuck's seminars, motivational lectures, and audio books on Parrot, I've become <laughs> a audio vicious books on Parrot. corsair. You can too. Ask me how. Tell me about these seminars, Wally. Tell me about these seminars. The seminars really brought things into focus. You don't know how empowering it is to be able to say to yourself, yes, I am a despicable, filthy, villainous pirate deserving blame and censure, but that pirate is who I want to be. Everyone was really very supportive. We had this great feeling of synergy. Then LeChuck kicked down the door and said, you lazy scum, get back to work or I'll beat you with your own legs. Um, tell me about these audiobooks. Tell me about these audiobooks. To become a pirate, the audiobooks on Parrot are the key. <laughs> you get a set of 12 parrots, one a month. Return as many as you like, keep them all and live. They teach you to talk just like a pirate. Good. All the key phrases are in there. Blow the man down. Shiver me timbers. Who's a pretty bird? <laughs> All the phrases a pirate needs to command respect on the high seas. Do you have any literature I could look at? Here. This leaflet explains the basic philosophy I follow. All right. Um, does he have more to tell me about motivational lectures? Tell me about these motivational lectures. Well, they weren't lectures as such. It was what LeChuck described as flogging the inner child. Good. Set me free, Wally. Set me free, Wally. I can't, Mr. Brush. I'm the evil pirate Bloodnose now. And besides, even if you got up on deck, LeChuck would cut you to ribbons. What's behind the door? What's behind that door? Ooh, that's the door to LeChuck's treasure hold. There's heaps and piles of gold and silver. He's brought all the loot he's ever stolen to give to Elaine. LeChuck is convinced that he can buy Elaine's love. Hmm. All right. Um, what are LeChuck's plans? What are LeChuck's plans? He's been working on a secret weapon. Some incredibly powerful cannonball. He's going to use it to blow down the walls of the fort. 
so his crew can overrun the island. Snap out of it, Wally. You're just a cartographer, not a bloodthirsty pirate. Snap out of it, Wally. That's blood nose to you, you scurvy sea bass. <laughs> um, you're a failure as a pirate, Wally. You're a failure as a pirate. Shut your trap, you yellow-bellied blowfish. One more peep out of you, and I'll do you in. Um, try it, shrimpy. Try it, shrimpy. Yes, scabrous swab. One more word, and I'll let you have it. You haven't got the guts. You haven't got the guts. That's it. I'm gonna blast you. I'm gonna... I'm... gonna... <laughs> um, I can't do it. I just can't. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Wood. I'm just not a pirate. Nope. I'm not ferocious or bloodthirsty or hateful or anything. I'm not even... I'm not even unpleasant. Oh. Oh, there, there. All right. Well, surely I'm supposed to take your plastic hook here. It's Wally's fake pirate hook. I now have a fake pirate hook. <laughs> this what's this looks like a ramrod for the cannon good take it all right uh it's got cannonballs nice cannonballs mm, they're too heavy to carry all right um <laughs> I could never untie that big knot. You know, Guybrush looks significantly more uh, tall and skinny than he did in the previous games. It's rather strange. Okay, it is a locked door, so I can't open it, right? I couldn't force that door open with my bare hands. Could I force it open with a ramrod? Why do I have these two balloons? They're very festive. <laughs> Not sure where I got those from. <laughs> that doesn't need to be loaded. <laughs> That's too big to fit in the keyhole. How about the hook? <laughs> the uh, pirate hook. I never have been any good at lock picking. Damn it. But I am still a mighty pirate, believe you me. All right. Whatever you say, Guybrush. Um... I can't quite squeeze past this cannon. There's a strange glow coming from that porthole. It's a brightly lit porthole. It's another gun bay. Alright. Alright, can I use the cannon? Nice. Watch where you shoot it! Arcadey sequences and uh, adventure games are the best. Hi, inside of you all! <laughs> You're gonna get us all killed! Again! It's like you're not one of the chatting on the 
adventure games Oops. where you resolve your problems peacefully. Hey, I'm getting pretty good at this. <laughs> Ooh, gross. All the bones and stuff are floating towards the ship. Ah! All right. Good, some debris. I think it would bite me. <laughs> well, they messed with the wrong skull this time. <laughs> oh, is it Murray? It's a horrible skull. If I could just get my hands on that gunner. I think this is the first game with Murray. Can I call you Bob? You may call me Murray. I am a powerful demonic force. I am the harbinger of your doom. And the forces of darkness will applaud me as I stride through the gates of hell, carrying your head on a pike. <laughs> stride? All right, then roll. Roll through the gates of hell. <laughs> Must you take the fun out of everything? You know, you look great with a melting candle on your forehead. I get the feeling you're not taking me very seriously. Nope. No, I am, really. <laughs> really? Then let me hear you scream in terror. Um, eek. Ah, ooh, too petrified to say anything. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Why do you always laugh so much? Why do you villains always laugh so much? I wasn't laughing about anything in particular. Somewhere there's a fish nibbling on my foot and it really tickles. You're about as fearsome as a doorstop. Is it a really evil looking <laughs> doorstop? Uh, sure. Never mind. <laughs> Was your mother's father bald too? Was your mother's father bald too? I'm not bald. I just have a really high widow's peak. <laughs> well, at least now you never have to worry about what to wear. Well, I suppose that's true. And accessorizing is really easy. That's also true. And I look good in hats. There you go. <laughs> How can you see without eyeballs? How can you walk around without a brain? Some things no one can answer. I'm going now. Good. All right. Now leave me alone. I have a lot of scheming and evil plotting to do. <laughs> ah, well. There's a skeletal arm floating in the water. I can't reach that far. All right, so I probably need Boy, to. There's not much to do out here when you're just a bodiless head. Can't quite reach it. That will reach it, but it can't catch hold. I probably need well, to I use the to um. Whistling it. Yeah, the hook on this. This is so unfair. There we go. Hey, that's my arm. <laughs> Give that back. Nope. Let's look at this here. Now everybody's going to storm the fort, and I'm going to be stuck here. It's a skeleton arm. Sure is. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, not sure if that was entirely necessary. <laughs> Let's take a look, see here. It's the muzzle of the cannon. rope, I guess. Haha! Ah! <laughs> Taste cold steel, feeble cannon restraint rope. Ah! Alright, so then if I fire it, will it have such a strong kickback? It'll knock the door out. 
That's my hope. Now, with the demon flames of this voodoo cannonball, I'll blast my significant other into the significant <laughs> other world. <laughs> and I'll show her how much I truly care. Good thinking. <laughs> Neptune's navel. That was a close one. Oh no! Hey, I lost my cutlass when the ship capsized. All right, lots of hot spots here. Uh, it's, it's a champagne bottle. It's a bottle of sparkling formaldehyde. Good year too. <laughs> Chateau Embalm. Mm, no. No. Okay. Um. Because the ship is capsized, this ladder goes to nowhere. All right. It's the biggest pile of treasure I've ever seen. If this were King's Quest V, I could, if I picked it up, I'd be trapped down here forever. And I wouldn't be able to swim with all that treasure. I'll leave it here and come back for it when I have a boat. Fair enough, Guybrush. Teddy bear. It's stabbed through the heart. Cute and yet sinister. The bear's too big to carry around, and the sword's a fake plastic one. Take this music box. It's got a zombie ballerina. <laughs> nice. It got broken when the ship capsized. No. Uh, I probably need the flotation device, I'm guessing. No self-respecting pirate would be seen wearing that. Oh, come on, Guybrush. How about LeChuck's unused comb? I think LeChuck needs it more than I do. Ugh. Okay, so what do I, what do, what do, I do here, man? Um, it's too bad this game doesn't have a, a hotspot finder. Like modern adventure games often do. Teddy bear. Music box. Ah, here's a bag. It's a bag of wooden nickels. Can Some I, treasure. Can I take it? Hey, there's a big diamond ring behind this bag. <laughs> so, uh, guy, Rush, you're willing to take the sack of golden nickels, but none of the other monies. Good, I have a gold ring, or not a gold ring, a ring and a bag of nickels. All right, um, home appliances. Hey, it's the Songs for Undead Lovers collection. A beautiful high capacity washer and dryer combination. Hmm. Okay, can I take this wreath? I don't know, that seems kind of creepy. <laughs> Why ever? How about a box of chocolates? Ugh, that stuff is disgusting, even for a pirate. Gaping hole to the surface, anyone? I can't climb my way up there. I don't have my uh, device anymore, my thing longer. Um, all right, probably, can I fit through here? That's not the kind that opens. Hey, I can see the ocean floor. And there's a really angry looking skull floating around out there. <laughs> um... Hey, can anybody lower a rope? Guess not. Can I pick up this ladder and use it elsewhere? Because the ship is capsized, this ladder goes to nowhere. I realize that, but I could, if it's movable, I could move it. Um, so we can, it can cut through this uh, porthole. Like with this ring or something. Of course. <laughs> Just scrape your ring on a porthole and it'll come right open. That makes total sense.
Guybrush? Guybrush! I thought I'd lost you forever. Is it really you? Yes, Elaine. Um, did you really mean what you said out there? That I was the only man you ever loved? Uh, well, yes, Guybrush, I guess I did. Elaine, I'm a man of action. A swashbuckler, a rogue, a wanderer, a man who can hold his breath for ten minutes. I have no ties and no regrets. I sail with the wind and go where adventure takes me. But somehow, something always Guy leads Rush, me. Guybrush, stop babbling. Elaine, will you marry me? Oh, Guybrush. Oh, Wally? You're alive. But how did you survive the explosion? I was thrown clear. I'm just lucky I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. Wow, Good, Elaine, Wally. that's some ring. Thank you, Wally. It's an engagement ring from Guybrush. Hey, that looks just like the big diamond ring that Chuck had in his treasure hole. <laughs> you know, the one with that ghastly, disfiguring voodoo curse on it. <laughs> well, I'm sure Guybrush wouldn't have given you that ring. Anyway, I've got to be going. I hear there's a tattoo ring on this island that's freckle safe. See you at the wedding. Guy Always brush. messing things up for Elaine, aren't you? Uh... Oops. Well, part two. The curse gets worse. Oh no! Elaine? She's not gonna be happy about this. Uh, I'd say not. <sighs> Alright. Well. It's Elaine. I've got to change her back somehow. She must weigh a ton. <laughs> uh, no offense. Hey, I wonder how many carrots she... No, no, bad idea. <laughs> uh, a glowing ember. It's a glowing ember left over from the battle. Ouch! <laughs> I like how you can just pick up a glowing ember and shove it in your pocket. That fort has seen better days. The bridge is uncrossable. It's just as well. There's nothing interesting in the fort anyway. Okay. Nothing interesting, you say? I'll take your word for it, Guybrush. What does this plaque say? It's an informative plaque put up by the Plunder Island Naturalist Society. Plunder Island Feral Chicken. One of Plunder Island's most common fauna and the animal for which our capital of Puerto Pollo is named. <laughs> Puerto Pollo. That's pretty good. Uh, I'll take the plaque. Mm, no. Okay. I will speak to this feral chicken. Hello, Mr. Feral Chicken. Hey! I don't think so. <laughs> Neat. Guybrush just says neat when he sees a feral chicken. Voodoo markings. Ooh, am I going to meet the voodoo lady? Mysterious. Mysterious voodoo markings, huh? Okay. Uh, let's go over here, I guess. Boom. Ah. <laughs> hey, it's Murray. Oh, it's just you again. Just your most terrifying image of evil revisited. Yeah, right. I bring you warning from the infernal realms. Do not go farther into the swamp. All right, Turn Barry. back. Turn back. Darkness will envelop you. How'd you get up there? How'd you get all the way up there? Through sheer force of will. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sheer force right, it was of will. a bunch of those weird voodoo kids. They found me on shore and put me on top of this spike all the time thinking they were so funny. 
Need me to help you down? Do you need me to help you down? Help! I need no help from you foolish mortals. I am Murray, the all-powerful demonic skull. Okay, just thought I'd ask. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I do appreciate the offer. <laughs> what are you doing up there? I am standing as a testament. Standing? <laughs> Hanging as a testament to the power of the forces of evil that will one day claim victory over the entire earth. How long are you going to keep doing this? How long are you going to keep doing that? As long as it takes. Must get pretty dull up there, I suppose. Never! The powers of darkness are never dull. We will one day prove that... Oh, who am I trying to fool? I'm bored out of my skull. <laughs> Figuratively speaking, of course. Good. You seem restless, Murray. You seem restless. Oh, I don't know. It's just that not many people come through this swamp. What would you rather be doing? I need to be out among the lesser people, terrifying them and causing pain and misery. That would make you happy? Yes, happy in a dark demonic way. Do you know anything about lifting curses? Do you know anything about lifting curses? Oh, right. I know a lot about lifting curses. That's why I'm a disembodied talking skull sitting on top of a spike in the middle of a swamp. You seem bitter. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's been a rough day. I'd love to stay in chat, but uh, I gotta go. I hear you, Murray. I hear you. Ooh, it looks like it was thrown here by a typhoon. A typhoon, you say? An alligator, a gumball machine. Toy scissors. Hmm. I don't want those dull little scissors. No. Paste? It's a bottle of paste. Okay. How cute. A paper voodoo doll. All right, I'll take one. I don't need it. You don't? It's just a toy. I, can I take this pin? It's a voodoo pin. What a relief. <laughs> Good. Good, I'm glad I helped someone today. Okay. Um, gumball machine. Admiral Sweetums bit o jerky bubblegum. Five cents. Jerky flavored bubblegum? Sounds like a dream come true for what wizard? Um, I do have a bag of nickels that I can maybe use to purchase some gumballs. Wow, I got a whole pack of gum. Good, I now have some jerky flavored gum. How quaint. Uh, elevator, al elevator, alligator. It's a big stuffed alligator with an unusually long tongue. Unusually long tongue, you say? It's the alligator's tongue, and it's still moist. Gross. What happens if I yank it? Oh, hey, it's the voodoo lady. Who are you, and how did you just appear like that? I am one gifted with a second sight, adept at manipulating the forces of nature for the benefit of all who enter my door. You're a fashion consultant. Well, yes, but that's not what I was referring to. <laughs> I am a voodoo priestess. Neat. You're an autumn, by the way. Neat, I guess, is uh, Guybrush's new catchphrase in this game. Don't I know you from somewhere? Don't I know you from somewhere? We have known each other for a very long time, Guybrush Threepwood. You've been through much, so it is understandable that you have forgotten me. We met on Melee Island when you were first trying yep. to become a pirate. Hang on a second. Are we going to do one of those flashback things? They always make me nauseous. No, I'll make this quick. 
I twice helped you defeat the evil pirate LeChuck, first by preparing the voodoo antiroot. I'm starting to remember. And then again by helping you prepare a voodoo doll of his zombie form. That's right. <laughs> what wizard says he's a much more relatable character with his new catchphrase? I guess so. They needed something to replace, um, I want to be a pirate with. You've helped so much and I still don't know your name. I am known by many names on many different islands. But names have little importance. You should know this more than anyone, Guybrush Threepwood. Yes, you're right. Hey, are you making fun of me? I wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> Boy, have I got some stories to tell you. Stories? Yes, well, I'm sensing a great disturbance. I have to go. But I've got to tell you about the truck <laughs> and Elaine. I'm going to disappear now in a big flash of light. Cover your eyes. No, 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 wait. It started back on Dinky Island. I knew LeChuck was close. I'll be disappearing here any moment. <laughs> okay, okay, no stories. Nice place. I love what you've done with it. Thank you. You'll have to excuse the mess. The kids came over to play with their paper voodoo dolls. <laughs> They're adorable children. Would you like to see some pictures? Uh... <laughs> I guess Guybrush's only response is no. Perhaps later. Yes, there's no time for that now. <laughs> I sense that something terrible has happened. Hey, you're good. Something terrible has happened. I finally proposed to Elaine. Congratulations. That doesn't sound so ter... And when I placed the engagement ring on her hand, she was placed under a horrible pirate curse and trapped for eternity as a solid gold statue. Ah, <laughs> oh, that explains it. I was struck with a wave of overwhelming hatred and anger. Yeah, that LeChuck was a pretty mean guy. I was talking about Elaine. <laughs> well, there's no time to worry about that now. We have to hurry. Do not panic, Guybrush. She will be safe until we can break the curse. You only have to worry about her being stolen. Where did you hide her? Um. <laughs> it's too secret. I can't tell you. It's too secret. Very well. But I am very much relieved to hear that she is safe and. Uh, I just remembered something I've got to do. Uh, see you around. You didn't hide. <laughs> Go, Guybrush. Hurry before you're too late. Good. Good, Guybrush. No. Elaine! <laughs> I've got to get her back. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to need some more help. Did they uh, leave a note here? Oh, beauty lady. Someone's stolen Elaine. That is unfortunate. <laughs> it will be difficult to get her back. Do you know who kidnapped her? Not for certain, but I suspect that it's the mangy pirates anchored in Danger Cove. Can you give me something to lift the curse? No, LeChuck's curse is a very powerful one. Fueled by his anger and his intense frustration in dealing with the opposite sex. I have nothing <laughs> here to lift so powerful a curse, but there is one way. Great. Tell I guess LeChuck is a metaphor for Guybrush's older brother. With a pure one of greater or equal value. A good guideline is two months' salary. <laughs> Where am I going to find such a thing? Where am I going to find a huge uncursed diamond ring? Legends speak of a whopping big diamond ring on Blood Island. Ah. Blood Island. I mean, you get to Blood Island. You will soon become quite familiar with it. But you must be careful, Guybrush. I have foreseen that your journey will be filled with peril and deception. I have also seen that Blood Island will be the place where you will die. Oh no. Uh-huh. So, uh, any huge uncursed rings on any other islands? No. The value of the ring on Blood Island comes from its emotional significance. 
It represents a pure, true love, a power greater than any other. Oh, that's sweet. I, I think I have something in my eye. Do not mock the voodoo priestess. <laughs> How do I get to Blood Island? How do I get to Blood Island? You will need three things. Oh, good. A map to a Blood fetch Island, quest. for the journey is a long and dangerous one. Okay, a map, check. A seaworthy ship to take you there. Seaworthy and ship. And an experienced crew. Map, ship, and crew. Got it. Map, ship, and crew, huh? The, uh... Monkey Island Triumvirate. Well, how will I find the ring on Blood Island? All I can say is that I see a long and painful history connected with that ring. And I feel a great sadness associated with it. You will learn more once you have actually found the island. <laughs> uh, sounds dangerous. Have to come with me. Blood Island sounds dangerous. You have to come with me. No, I cannot. I have lived on three different islands <laughs> in the past six years. I do not wish to travel anymore. Fair enough. Besides, this derelict is still in escrow. But who will give me information and advice? You've got to come. You're my only hope. No, Guybrush. There is another. Ah, Star Wars Blood quotes. Island, here I come. Uh, I finally defeated LeChuck. I finally defeated LeChuck and his skeleton pirates. True evil can never be destroyed completely. Damn it. But I heard him blow up and everything. You'd be <laughs> surprised at how much abuse an evil undead zombie pirate can take. Uh, found Big Whoop and was disappointed. And I finally found Big Whoop and was enormously disappointed. Big Whoop is pure evil. You were lucky to escape alive. I can't remember much about it. Just that I was expecting so much more and felt so let down. <laughs> yes, it is the source of much of LeChuck's power. I'm never going back there again. <laughs> I have foreseen otherwise. You will return to Big Whoop and confront LeChuck once again. I think Big Whoop was the uh, amusement park that... Guybrush and LeChuck were in at the end of Monkey Island 2 when uh, LeChuck put the hex on him, but I'm not 100% certain. What makes you think LeChuck will be back? What makes you think LeChuck will be back? Some men can search their entire lives and never discover their reason for being. LeChuck has found his. To perpetually rise from the dead and torment you <laughs> and Elaine. Thanks, LeChuck. What he does best. Gee, when you put it that way, it's kind of hard to stay mad at him. Guess so. How can I destroy him for good? Well, how can I finally destroy him for good? No one knows. His power seems to grow with every incarnation. Which is why he will be back in every single Monkey Island now, game. But this respite can only be temporary at best. Uh, so, uh, I want to know about the voodoo spell you're working on. I want to know what voodoo spell you're working on. Voodoo spell? Oh, this. This is just a fondue I'm making for tonight. Would you like to try it? Does it have any skink toes in it? <laughs> you. I'll pass. <laughs> no skink toes for me, Flate. Ah, uh, no skink toes for me, thanks. So how about some uh, tips about safe hair replacement systems? I want to know more about safe hair replacement systems. I can imagine. Didn't you have a beard the last time I saw you? I sure did. A really cool one. I wonder what happened to it. I want to know more about a diet I can live with. I'll share with you knowledge passed from mother to daughter in my family for generations. What's that? Low fat, high fiber. It works. All right. I want to know more about variable rate mortgages. Bad idea. Though attractive to the first time homeowner, the rate reacts wildly to fluctuations in the market <laughs> and can work against the buyer over time. 
You're best off starting with a 20% down payment and a variable rate mortgage, then refinancing at a fixed rate after one or two years as the market warrants. Could you repeat that? No. <laughs> Good. Uh, how about a career in TV and VCR repair? I want to know more about a career in TV and VCR repair. So you want to make more money? Sure, we all do. Stick to pirate. <laughs> And I want to know more about the Aztec god, Quetzalcoatl. Really sweet guy. Not at all as bloodthirsty as they make him out to be. <laughs> Shorter than you might think. Uh, what's up with this island? What island is this, anyway? You have landed on Plunder Island. Ah, Plunder Island. Plunder Island. Sounds appropriately piratey. Naturally. It's a sort of retirement community for ex-pirates and their spouses. <laughs> you don't say. Hmm, sounds exciting. Lately, there has been all too much excitement on the island. All centering around Governor Marley, the Chuck, and a giant chicken. Giant chicken? Wait, Elaine is governor of this island too? Elaine is governor of this island too? Actually, Elaine is the governor of the entire Tri-Island area, comprised of Melee, Booty, and Plunder Island. Gotcha. She moved to her fort here on Plunder after the kitchen and landscaping staff quit her Booty Island mansion. <laughs> how did you end up here? Well, how did you end up on Plunder Island? I realized that my location in the swamp on Scab Island wasn't ideally situated. So you moved to a swamp on a different island? <laughs> I just said I could see the future. I never claimed to be an expert in real estate. What about this giant chicken business? Ah, yes, Skybrush. You have landed on an island gripped by the cold, clammy hand of fear. Don't you think you're being a bit overdramatic? This was a peaceful island until the great beast landed on our shores. Some say it was sent to make the islanders pay for their cruelty. Others claim it was simply blind faith. Whatever the impetus, it came. Okay. A giant, uh, giant chicken? A giant chicken? It was El Pollo Diablo, <laughs> the giant demon chicken. <laughs> Tall as a man, and twice as powerful, his massive drumsticks propel him through the dark jungle with ease. No one has seen the beast, but on the eve of the full moon, his blood-curdling squawk can be heard from every corner of this wretched island. In the dark of night, he roosts patiently, watching, <laughs> waiting for the one day no, 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 wait. Don't tell me. Let me guess. Um, hatching a diabolical scheme. Establishing a new pecking order. Going to buck, buck, buck the system. Crossing the road to freedom. Uh, <laughs> these are all good. Um, I'm gonna say he's going to, uh, buck, buck, buck the system. He's going to muck, muck, muck the system. <laughs> he roams the island, exacting <laughs> terrible vengeance on those who would capture and eat his smaller brethren. Oh, give me a break. <laughs> there were once others like you, skeptical to the true nature of the beast. But they're all dead now, pecked into a bloody pulp <laughs> by his savage... That does sound kind of horrifying. But I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. Yeah, right, whatever. Thanks. I've heard all I needed to know. Uh, alright. I guess I gotta go. Thanks for your help. Gotta go. Farewell. Uh, how you doing, Murray? I think he wants to be alone right now. Want some gum, Murray? Mm. Oh, nice. 
Oh, Murray's gonna blow bubbles now. Can I talk to him? I think he wants to be alone right now. Damn. Right, I kind of wanted to see. I thought there was like a sign. It might have been a sign that I read before. Okay. Have some feral chickens here. Nothing to be too concerned about. Got some handprints. Those pirates in Danger Cove walk on their hands. Weird. Did they kidnap Elaine? Untitled composition in gold and diamond. This newest addition to our public works of art was shamefully taken without <laughs> authorization. That was Elaine. Mm, no. What does this banner say? The Long John Silver Center for the Performing Arts presents Spear. All right. Um. All right. So I think this is all I'm going to play for tonight. Um. That was, so, we got uh, off to an exciting start to the Curse of Monkey Island. See what's coming up next tomorrow. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.